Hey guys, this is lesson two in, um, sorry, this is lesson 14, video two. And we talked about this um, word problem in our last video. And we're just going to talk about different ways to solve it. Okay, so hopefully you remember that Una still needs to drive 13 and 13 15 hours. We had to change the thirds to 15 and the fifths to 13 to 15 both of them to 15 and look at how much was left, right? Okay, but there are different ways to subtract fractions with mixed numbers, and we've been talking about that this whole section. We're going to look at Julie's way, which is to add on. So Julie said, well, we've already gone five and four fifths. Let's add and see how much we need to make it up to nine and two thirds. So Obviously, they're both going to have to be fifteenths, starting at five and twelve fifteenths. She added three fifteenths on to get to an even number, which would be six. So this method, you generally add to your next whole number, and then you notice, okay, I used that much. Then from that whole number to your next whole number, adding three more on, right? Because our goal is to get up to nine and 10 15 in fact you could even put that on your number line right so starting adding a fraction going from whole number to whole number noticing okay we're adding three on and then how from to get from nine to nine and ten fifteenths add another ten fifteenths on and then we add up everything that we used to add on which was three and thirteen fifteenths i kind of like this method you're welcome to use it and hopefully you understand it all right, let's look at Kayla's way. Kayla's way, she um, obviously changed them both to 15ths and then took her 5 and 12 15ths and broke it into two parts. She said 5 and 12 15ths, okay? <coughs> so 9 and 10 15ths, let me get my pen here. Sometimes a little pen helps, right? Okay, 9 and 10 fifteenths. We're just rewriting that here. And then 5 and 12 fifteenths. Notice we're not rewriting it here. We're just subtracting the whole number. So we're getting rid of the 5, taking that out. Then we have 4 and 10 fifteenths left. But we still have our 12 fifteenths here. So now we're going to take our 4 and 10 fifteenths, subtract our 12 fifteenths. Hopefully you're noticing that's a problem because 10 minus 12, right? So now we're borrowing 4 and 10 fifteenths, take it down to 3 and 10 fifteenths, and put our 1 on the side. Now, here's what they do that I don't really like that much, where they just take the 1 and they subtract the 12 fifteenths, right? So that would be 15 fifteenths minus 12 fifteenths is 3 fifteenths. Now we still have 3 fifteenths, but we still have our 3 and 10 fifteenths. So now we're going to put it all back together and we get 3 and 13 fifteenths. The reason I don't really like this one is because you have a lot of little pieces that you could forget about or get confused about there. But if you like it, that's totally fine, right? Now let's look at Toby's way, okay? Um, here's the problem. 9 and 2 thirds minus 5 and 4 fifths. Once again, making them both into fifteenths, but this time breaking our um, second number into three parts. And why would we break it into 10 fifteenths? Well, because we're subtracting 10 fifteenths, right? So inside of 12 fifteenths, we have 10 fifteenths and 2 fifteenths. We can break them into as many pieces as we want, right? Okay, so 9 and 10 fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths, that just leaves 9. We've gotten rid of the 9 and the 10 fifteenths right? And then 9 minus 5, that gets rid of the 5. And then 4 minus 2 fifteenths, that gets rid of the 2 fifteenths. And we're down to 3 and 13 fifteenths. This is okay. Um, you have to subtract three different things. Maybe that's easier to break it into three parts and you know exactly what part you need here, right? You know this one's going to be bigger. So if that works for you, it's just just trying to understand it and make sure that you can see what's going on in each of these methods. That's kind of the main idea here. All right. And of course, being able to use one of them, that would be very helpful. 
All right. I think that's all the different methods that we're talking about. Um, let's look at number two in your book. And let me just pull that up on our screen. There we go. 10 and 5 sixths minus 14 and 8 ninths. All right. Challenge yourself to use a different method. Or if you're struggling with subtraction of mixed numbers, challenge yourself to do it. Okay. Challenge yourself to solve this problem. Maybe in one of the ways that we just talked about, maybe you want to try breaking that second number into three pieces, right? Give it a try. Maybe you want to try adding on with the number line. Go ahead and do it. I'm just going to watch you for one minute. Go. Shoo, that was a long minute. <clears throat> Hopefully you made some headway in your book there. And we're just going to look at some possibilities of what you could do. <clears throat> um, you know uh, what I like to do. I like to borrow. But first we have to think about the 6 and the 9, right? Um, you might have done 6 times 9, which would be 54. But you could also do 18, right? 6 times 3 is 18. So take them on the side. Five sixths times something, <clears throat> sorry, equals 18. Six times three, right? Three over three. Five times three is 15. Eighteenths. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to just rewrite that here. 20 and 15 eighteenths. And then I'm going to change that 8 ninths also to 15 sorry, to 18 9 times 2 over 2. Equals 16 18 Okay. So now I have 20 and 15 18 minus... 14 and 16 eighteenths. Maybe you got that done, or maybe you got ahead of there. Like I said, if you have 50 fourths, that's fine too. Okay, so now 15 minus 16. There's my big problem, right? So one way to do it is to change this to 19. And instead of 15 eighteenths, now I have 18 eighteenths and 15 eighteenths, right? Okay. And then I need to put together my 15 and my 18, which would be 20, no, 33, right? 15 plus 15 is 30, and three more is 33, making an improper fraction, which is fine. 19 and 33 eighteenths, and I'm going to subtract 14 and 16 eighteenths. Okay, and now I can do that, right? No problem with writing it on the side. 33 minus 16. I'd rather you write it down and get it right than do it in your head and get it wrong, especially when it's subtraction, right? So 13 minus 6, 
is 7, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So that is 17 eighteenths. 19 minus 14 is 5. 5 and 17 eighteenths. That is correct. Now, is that the way you did it? Or did you do it a different way? If you didn't get it finished, make sure you get this copied down. You can always pause me and get it copied down. I'm going to show you another way. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'm going to show you another way. If I can get to it. There we go. Um, this is the adding on method, right? Start with 14 and 16 eighteenths. Add two eighteenths. That'll bring you to 15. Add five more. That'll bring you to 20. Add 15 eighteenths more. That'll bring you to 20 fifteenths. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a great day.